Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I wanna talk about some design stores that you need to know about. So we've all been in a situation where we're showing someone our home and they're like, I have that, I have that, I have that, right? Because we're all shopping at the exact same stores. And there's really nothing wrong with us all having the same things really inherently, that's fine, unless you got a big ego. But if you are looking for some new places to start shopping, if you're looking for some places to find some unique goods, today's video is made just for you. The first business I want to talk about today is actually called The Little Design Co. So Little Design Co. is a company I found on Etsy, but they also have their own website. So if you're going to shop at them, I'll link both down below, but I'd probably say shop at their website so that we can support them fully because I think Etsy gets cuts. But anyway, Little Design Co. is a pillow company and pillows, pillows are the bane of my existence because they get really pricey. So I am the queen of going to Ikea for pillows. I've splurged on a few pillows from Restoration Harbor before, but it, it's really hard to get me to spend money on that but the second I found them guys quality was there the quality came off the computer screen it was so transparent that I bought it immediately but let's dive into this company so little design co they sell so many different types of pillows so they have their own pillows right they have straight line pillows they have pattern pillows they have geometric pillows and they also have designer pillows so what do I mean by that so designers have different patterns or different graphics that they come up with and they also produce those pillows so this company sells so many so many so many different sizes you got the 20 20 by 20 square, the 22 by 22, the 26 by 26. They have small lumbar, they have extra large lumbar, they have bolster pillows, pretty much anything under the sun that you want, they can do for you. And they do take custom orders as well. So they have all these different types of pillows. And I'm just going to speak to my own experience. These pillows, they said they would come in three to 10 business days. They came in seven business days, even though one of them was a custom order. I got three of the Kelly Worsler Graffito pillows in 26 by 26. And then I got one Urban Boucle extra large pillow. And it feels so good. So when this extra large lumbar pillow came I literally thought they'd sent me the wrong thing because the box was so heavy it was so heavy and that's because the down insert in the pillow so that particular pillow did come with an insert the other ones do not the down insert was so nice and full that I was absolutely blown away. So the quality was there. It has an exposed brass zipper on it, but it looks so crisp and clean. There isn't like a loose fiber anywhere. The, the, the pillow covers have an appropriate amount of give, but not too much, right? So I absolutely adore that because I've dropped money on pillows from Restoration Hardware before and other luxury brands, and they have a lot of gifts and I have to double stuff them. And it actually does get expensive. The price of the insert and the pillow, of of course we love the double stuff look but we have to do the double stuff look because the covers have too much give right so these don't have that much give i was actually able to use true to size pillow inserts so i got 26 by 26 pillow covers and i put 26 by 26 pillow inserts in them and they look nice and full on my bed that was the entire reason why i'd sworn off really doing a good pillow arrangement because i couldn't find pillow inserts that were true to size and then i couldn't find the appropriately sized pillows to go in there right because i was going to have to buy 40 by 40 pillows and nobody literally sells that so it was so frustrating but the quality is here with this brand and the prices they're they're less expensive than maybe your restoration hardware your crate and barrel stuff like that sometimes even your pottery barn um but there it is sold at a premium right because it's high quality you get what you pay for especially with the pillow covers but they have my sign of approval i will shop with them again and again and again and it's a company that i really really urge you to check out and if you don't believe me just read those reviews i've never seen a company get all five star reviews like this ever in my life. The next company I want you to start shopping at is called Burke Decor. So you've probably gotten ads from Burke Decor before because I have, and I was like, leave me alone. Stop popping up on my phone. Stop targeting me. I don't want what you're selling. But it turns out I really did want what they were selling. So they were doing something right. Look at that <laughs> metaverse. Um, but they are such a good brand. They sell all types of things. So they turn, sell furniture and lighting and decorative accents and rugs. And so when you're going on brick decor, what I probably want you to look at are their decorative accents and their lighting. So finding unique lighting is so hard these days, especially if you want something sculptural, because in 2022, one of the major design trends is actually introducing organic shapes and organic shapes include curves, right? Because we see curves in nature. We want to see that in our homes. And if you already have a nightstand and a bed and a this and a that, the most expensive thing to replace or add to your space is some sort of lighting, right? Because it is expensive, but it's not as 
expensive as buying an entirely new bed. So Burke Decor, you're able to source very similar items, you know, with the fun shapes, with the fun colors, with, you know, just some really, really cool detail in it, but you can still send it back, right? And I know maybe that's like a shallow desire, but it's a desire I want because it's my money and I want to make sure that I'm getting what I want for my money. And I want that for you guys too, because I'm all about the lux look for less, right? And getting your money's worth. So I love Burke Decor for their lighting and I love Burke Decor because they have tons and tons of coupons. I was on this website last night, 15% off coupon. I opened my computer this morning, 30% off coupon. I opened my computer five days ago, there's a 25% off coupon. They always have so many different coupons so that there's an incentive to shop at that store. And of course their goods are sold at a premium and you can find these goods on other websites like Circa Lighting, um, but you get the coupons here. I've even been able to find Burke Decor items over on Overstock, but the return policy and the coupons, I just really like Burke Decor. Now, not only do I like their lighting, but I really, really like their decorative accents because everyone has the same vase from H&M, everyone has the same platter from Zara Home. Um, sometimes you just want something unique, you want something that tells a story. So I love weird looking stuff. I love weird looking stuff and I love things that look like bodies. I really like figurative art. Uh, my wife hates it. So the way that I am able to sneak it in a little bit is via my decorative accent. So if you want a bowl that looks like a body, if you want a lamp that looks like a chicken, um, you can find all of those things on Burke Decor in a really sophisticated way. And in this video, I'm not going to go through every single part of every single website, but I just want to highlight the things that I love from each of these stores because I think they're worth checking out. Now, the next place you need to start shopping for your home is Instagram. And you're like, what? In Instagram. So Instagram has this really cool new feature where you can actually shop on the platform. And I don't want you shopping for just anything, but I think Instagram is actually a phenomenal, phenomenal place to shop for art, namely paintings and sculpture. So a lot of small artists are actually able to market their work now on Instagram, which is fantastic because you're actually able to engage in a dialogue with those artists, see how their work has kind of progressed over time and actually really be like, hey, can I buy this piece? How much is this piece? How do I go about doing this? Because one of the things that kind of makes art a little bit more inaccessible to you know, everyday people is that unless you're going to a gallery, you can't really buy the art, right? So unless you're going to a show, unless you've planned for that or traveled to a place where there is a relevant art gallery, you're not actually being exposed to that art. So Instagram is able to help you do that now. So what I like to do is I go on Instagram and I search ha hashtags for the type of art that I like. So original art, abstract art, um, French art, um, expressionist art, whatever type of art I want to look for, that's where I'll search in the hashtags. And once you click on those hashtags, different artists will come up and you can actually find their shops. So I actually just purchased from a few artists that I do want to share with you today and I found every single one of them on Instagram. So the first artist I want to share with you, his name is Samuel Perry Art and I have a painting from him by him coming in I think today or tomorrow. And he is an artist based in California and he does do contemporary artwork. He has some black pieces, he has some warmer pieces, he uses color um, but not in an overwhelming way. And I found his artwork on Instagram. And so not only can you buy the artwork on Instagram, but a lot of artists are actually putting their, their Shopify's in their Instagram bio. So maybe when you go to their website, you might not be able to figure out how to shop, but when you actually search them on Instagram, you can go right to the Shopify store and buy the art like that. Because that's another thing with art. A lot of times you're like, I'm interested in this piece. You have to find the piece. Then you have to find the gallery. Then you have to get the curator of that exhibition to contact you. Then you have to figure out if you're going to send a check or if you're going to wire the money. This way, it's really seamless. You can just buy the piece and it's done like that. So that is one artist. There's Samuel Perry Art. The next artist I want to share is named Curtis Brand. So I found him the other day and we're doing all types of updates to our bedroom. If you don't know that, be sure to follow me over on Instagram. And he actually did this series. He is from Guatemala and he took ash from a volcano that erupted and he uses that to create artwork. He also creates Wabi Sabi artwork, um, artwork with spray paint, so many different genres of art, but he created pieces out of volcanic ash and that is also coming today and I scooped that right up. And again, because of Instagram, I was able to find him and purchase same day. And he just had a Shopify store that I purchased from. I downloaded an app and I was able to really find the tracking. So tons of you every single day get tons of comments. How do I find artwork? How do I find more affordable artwork? Well, you go on Instagram and you actually find the artists, right? You know, of course, you're not going to be able to buy Bosque yet for under, you know, 
know, like a million dollars. Of course you can't do that. But there are artists in all different stages of life um, and they have so many different size portraits. So if you're trying to get into art, of course you're not gonna get a 90 by 90 inch painting for $100. But if you wanna get, you know, do a little introduction, dip your feet in, maybe you'll get a 24 by 36 piece for like 800 bucks or something like that. It's a really, really good way to dip your toes in. And a lot of these artists, through their stores, they actually sell paper art, right? So that tends to be a little bit cheaper or they sell their own prints, that tends to be cheaper. Another artist I wanna share, her name is Brittany Sacconi. So I hope that I'm saying her last name correctly, but she has become um, one of my favorite artists on Instagram. I actually just bought a piece from her, which I will share with you. And she does figurative art and she does abstract art with a lot of blue and gray and black. Um, and there's a lot of texture there. There's a lot of feeling there. It's very smoky is kind of how I'd um, explore it. And again, you can go straight to her website and buy her art. The, the next place you need to start shopping is Ralph Lauren. So I know you're thinking, Kiva, why would I be shopping at Ralph Lauren? So I know Ralph Lauren was in and Ralph Lauren went out and then Ralph Lauren came back in and then went out. But Ralph Lauren should always be in when it comes to your home because Ralph Lauren is fantastic. So when you go to the website, of course you're seeing the traditional blue and the red and you're like, I'm not going boating, why would I wear this? I'm not going to the country club, why would I wear this? I'm not telling you where to clothes, but you can make your house and your home, uh, make your house and your clothes match if you want to, but go to that home section. So there are a few categories on the Ralph Lauren website I wanna chat about today. So the first section I wanna to touch on today is the candle section. So the candles just smell really darn good and a luxurious home a well put together home smells divine right and you're going to get that from Ralph Lauren I also want you to look at their decorative accents because they have really neutral pieces so they'll have like a green leather or a black or a pewter or just something really nice and simple Ralph Lauren has those really simple decorative accents that still pack a punch and so if you're in a contemporary space and you don't like too much clutter that's exactly what you're looking for they also have really phenomenal um, decorative boxes and decorative boxes are great because they're great for bookshelves, they're great for offices, and they're great for throwing all of your crap in there because we all have stuff and we want it hidden, but we still want decor and we still want a practical home. Now, if you want that hotel bedding feel, you guys, if you want to feel like you're waking up in the four seasons, but you're just at one, two, three, um, Keep a brunch street? I don't know. Um, what you need to do is get yourself some Ralph Lauren bedding. Those pillows are out of this world. Now, if you don't want to buy it directly from Ralph Lauren because there can be a premium, you can always buy these things over at Macy's. But they're sheets, they're coverlets, they're quilts. It's divine. And they have all that same stitching, all that hotel level, hotel style stitching that you might see at a Bed Bath & Beyond, but Bed Bath & Beyond, they're getting rid of that way, I'm sorry, so you can't get that anymore. And that same stitching you might get at Restoration Harbor, but this just feels better. So that's why I absolutely adore Ralph Lauren. This is what I sleep on when I go home to my, my family and I feel like I'm at a hotel, but I'm just staring in my childhood room with like my kids' drawings on the wall. But I get that hotel experience because of that amazing bedding. Now, my absolute favorite part of Ralph Lauren is actually the lighting. And if you're a home goods aficionado, you know that you see those Ralph Lauren lamps in home goods all of the time. And they're always the ones that look like those really nice task lamps. Oh, there are those columnar globe lamps that you see that became really popular with the rise of restoration hardware and really modern traditional design, right? You've seen all those in, um, in you've seen all those in Home Goods, and they're all by Ralph Lauren. So Ralph Lauren has phenomenal lighting, and very similarly to both birth decor, they have the weird shapes and the weird textures. But I love that almost all of these lights they come in black, silver, and gold, or brass really, black, silver, and brass. So. If that fits into any of your color schemes, which I know it does, you're going to find it on Ralph Lauren. Now these lights are expensive, people. They are expensive, but they're also unique. So as I said earlier, lighting is one of the cheaper things to fix in a space. So if you have to spend money on one thing, maybe be your light. Maybe you really care about reading at nighttime and you really want something to adorn that nightstand, but you don't want to add too much crap on there because I feel the same way. I just like need some space for my tums. Um, I'm going to get a really cool lamp and you can get that from ralphlauren.com. But again, you can find these things all over the internet. You can find them at Home Goods. You can find them where they've sold them at wholesale, but don't write off Ralph Lauren just because you don't feel like wearing a polo. Now, if you don't want to go looking for art over on Instagram, the next place you need to start shopping at is actually called Saatchi Art. So Saatchi Art has both a website and an app. So depending upon what you want to do, if you want to look at it on your desktop or if you want to look at it on your phone, they have something for you. And Saatchi Art is actually how I started collecting art. And I love Saatchi Art because you can buy so many different mediums of art. So you can buy paintings, you can buy 
buy drawing, sculpture, pretty much anything under the sun that you'd like to buy, you can actually buy it on Saatchi Art. And they have tons of different categories because again, people say to me all the time, Kiva, I want affordable art. And you know, it's kind of hard to approach an artist and say, hey, this is my budget, what do you got, right? I understand, and I said, God, I was grammatically incorrect for a reason, right? It's just, it's stressful, you don't wanna do that. But on Saatchi Art, they have tabs like under 500, under 1,000, you can filter based upon your budget, upon size constraints, all that good stuff. They even have these really cool features where you can actually imagine the art on your wall so you can see what that piece of art will look like in your space. Because that's another reason why people don't buy original art. They're like, if I don't like it, what am I gonna do? I can't take it back to Home Goods, right? Someone sent it to me from their studio. How do I go about doing this? Well, you can Photoshop it in. Um, they have this really cool um, 3D visualization system. So I absolutely love Sahachi Art for that reason. And I really like it for you guys because if you really wanna get into art but you don't have a huge budget for it, or if you really wanna get into art and you don't know where to go, this is where you go. Now, long term, I'd probably like you to buy directly from artists so they get 100% of the proceeds, but I think that this is a really, really phenomenal tool. Um, so start using it. And this will actually help you learn the different kind of styles of art that you like. And you can even filter by color. So if you only want all black art, you can find it there. If you want all yellow art, you can find it there. If you want all Basquiat style art, you can put that in there and something will come up. You can search by keywords. It is literally a search engine for art and it's going to be your brand new best friend. The next store that you're probably not frequenting but maybe want to pop into is Z Gallery. So Z Gallery is very, very, very much so associated with glam design, which is fine. But a lot of you aren't here for glam design because they mostly teach about contemporary modern design, but they have tons of hidden gems. The first thing that they sell that you probably want to look at are their floor mirrors. So a lot of people want those really grand gold mirrors, kind of like the one that I have in my living room. But the one that I have in my living room is upwards of $2,000 now. They're really hiking up that price, right? And if you want to get an original one from France. They're also very, 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 very expensive. So what are we going to do? So Z Gallery actually has ones that are a little bit more affordable than the ones that you'll find at Anthropology, Restoration Hardware, Crate and Barrel. Now the other thing I also really like from Z Gallery are these candlesticks. So I'm not going to say I found them. Actually, my good friend over on Instagram, her name is Hannah Kirk. She's a phenomenal interior designer. She found these brass candlesticks from Z Gallery and I picked them up for only $50 a piece and they're so long. I think they're over three feet long and I know that if I'd purchase these from elsewhere they would cost me upwards of $300 a piece. So you're getting the same products but without having to pay a really large markup. What you need to remember is that when you shop at stores meant for one niche for something else you're going to get that something else at a better cost because their target demographic they're not buying those things right so they're putting them on sale. So be sure to go to those websites where you know you normally wouldn't buy things because they might have some really 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 good stuff there. Z Gallery also has tons of great vases which tend to be 50% off or 30% off they're always running some type of sale and just because the majority of the products don't work for your design style doesn't mean that they don't have some hidden gems there so definitely start checking out Z Gallery of course when you're shopping online in general the delivery times are going to be a lot longer right now but that doesn't mean that you shouldn't take advantage of these really really great resources okay you guys that's it for today's video I shared some stores that you should start shopping at because they have so many really unique and high quality products that are really gonna help take your home to the very next level I hope that you're walking away from today's video more confident about buying decorative accents that no one else has and buying some art online because your houses are going to look great in 2022. I just know it. If you liked today's video, please don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and check me out on Instagram. And until next time, have a beautiful day.